Think about this for a second. When was the last time you opened your wardrobe or closet and instead of being perplexed by the abundance of clothing to choose from, you wondered how such varied items of clothing went from being just plants to becoming your kurta, shirt or denim? Most likely, you haven't in quite some time. So we decided to take you through that journey. So as you can see behind me, we are standing at one of the Aditya Birla group plants. Today we are at the Grasim Cellulosic Division in Vilayat. In this very plant, uh, fibers get made. The very fibers that you and me use in clothing and many other things that we use in our day-to-day -day lives. Today we have Sundar Bisnoi with us who has been part of this particular plant for more than two years. She's going to tell us a little more about her journey the work that she does here and how you can also be part of this particular place. So, let's get going with me. Hi Sundar, thank Hi. you very much for calling us in here and uh, you know agreeing to show us this beautiful plant. We can see huge machines uh, behind us. Uh, Sundar, before we start, uh, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself, where are you from? What exactly have you done in yeah. your life so far and how has been this experience for you? So, I am Sundar Bishnoi. I have graduated from Banasthali Vidya Peet, specialized in electronics and instrumentation. I have been part of this Aditya Birla group past three years. I am taking care of the instrumentation activities along with the project management team. In your engineering college, Aditya Birla group must be one of the uh, much sought after companies that come on campus, yes. right? What has been your process with this particular company? Were you sure that you wanted to be part of a company like this? Uh, were you sure that you will get through? I always wanted to be a part of core engineering sector. So I uh, chose for the AVG. The selection process goes like in three steps. First there is a psychometric test, then followed by GD and then we are having our uh, technical uh, interview and then HR interview. Right. So this is our selection procedure and post to that for one year we have this our training program in all four units of uh, pulp and fiber at India only. Post to that uh, we got our uh, final location based on our presentation of the project. So I got selected for the Vilayat unit. Sundar, uh, you know, you mentioned that you always wanted to be in core engineering and that's something that not a lot of women uh, talk yeah. about, right? Uh, and there is always a stigma around this that women are not part of such heavy machineries. They don't, you don't get to see them in engineering uh, classes as well as in plants like this. But you are definitely breaking that norm. I think, Paul, uh, my family is always very supportive in this uh, particular thing. My family always wanted to uh, push me uh, into my dreams so I chose engineering as my uh, field and uh, after joining this I think yeah there is kind of barrier between men and women in plants because there were very few women working in this sector and uh, when we have joined this unit there were only two to three females working over here but today there is uh, 50 around 50 number of female employees are here Right. So I think uh, world is change, keep on changing uh, with the time and so do we. So uh, tell me how was the feeling when you actually first came in here, uh, the Vilayat plant, what was the year when you joined in here? It's been quite some time now for you as a fresh uh, graduate just out of your uh, engineering college. What sort of job is given to you, what sort of also responsibilities are given to you and as part of the engineering leadership program, what were the sort of things that you were doing uh, as part of uh, ABG? So I have joined this group in 2019, there was whole uh, one year training program as I have mentioned. So in that uh, one year training program, we used to roam around all four units of uh, pulp and fiber where we have to uh, get the idea of what is manufacturing process goes like. So here's how fiber goes from being a plant to being processed in a plant before taking its familiar final form. Wood pulp is brought into the plant and mixed with caustic soda to form a slurry of alkali cellulose. It is then allowed to sit for some time while it matures. It is then converted into a high viscous solution which is extruded through holes to make fibers. This fiber is finally spun into threads and woven to make the fabrics you know well and that adorn your form. So here uh, what I am supposed to do uh, is I am deputed into the project team. So I used to uh, uh, go and clear up for the uh, engineering documents of the project. Right. 
we used to get uh, thoroughly uh, through the uh, documents so that we get the inside knowledge of the project what is going on inside and out in that procedure i got to learn about the store management material management part Right. also the contractor management part because we need to get things done through the contractors as well in order to execute the whole uh, installation of plant i was part of the os bill project team so uh, in that whole scenario i got uh, got to know about the dcs setup plant as well because i am instrument engineer so i'm supposed to do the dcs part of the uh, project as a fresher i think uh, we should know uh, the basics of uh, engineering core area from where you are coming from like my area is instrumentation so i need to have the basic knowledge of instruments what are those instruments uh, that are going to use in our industry right. and also the basics of D, uh, dcs and plcs as well so to get more familiar with the plant this is the whole project area and i was a part of project team uh, in this thing and we have commissioned this uh, plant in last year only that is 2020 and uh, also the ancillary section which is in the back side of the unit super uh, we are going to know a little more about the contribution that you have had in the last two and a half years that you have been working here we are going to know a little more about what assistant manager of instrumentation sundar bisnoi does in this plant but i am fascinated to look a little more around this campus so if you can help me do that and understand the process of the pulp and fiber factory sure. that would be great let's go yeah yeah let's go Sundar, uh, I can see huge machines right behind us. Uh, can you tell us what exactly are these and how are they related to your work? Yeah. So currently we are standing at the ancillary section of the plant. So I have mentioned that we are in the manufacturing of viscous staple fiber. So our major departments are viscous spinning and auxiliary. Right. Ancillary department is the supporting department to run all these uh, three departments. So this plant is set up for that purpose, and I am also part of this uh, project. when i have joined this unit and currently working on the cs2 plant which is the new manufacturing of uh, cs2 this is this is the recovery plant of cs2 and we are currently expanding the cs2 manufacturing as well so in that uh, process we are having gas dash process that is natural gas is uh, reacting with the sulfur in order to produce our cs2 as a final product right that sounds like a lot of work that happens in these machines tell me a little bit about the sort of projects that you had take up when you first came in your uh, when did you start working with uh, this particular setup and how important is this in terms of your learning so far as far as my projects are concerned i am part of os bill team os bill team uh, comprises of the ancillary section in whole i worked on the cap edta acid wtp and etp projects these all are commissioned in uh, 2020 only and currently we are expanding cs2 and uh, also the new upcoming project for the wsa that is wet sulfuric acid plant so these two are new addition in our project list that is i am going to take care as an assistant manager for instrumentation if i have to ask you how does your day look like so previously uh, when we are doing the commissioning part of the project i used to handle the daily meeting or uh, toolbox talk with the contractors along with my team so followed by that we need to execute some things in our uh, system as well so we need to work on site post commissioning as i am into the new project we are in the phase of engineering and procurement so we need to make the technical bids of the uh, instruments that we need to procure for the new project so i need to communicate with the different different vendors in order to get the quotations or get my technical queries clear from them right. so uh, we are working in that phase only we need to uh, do the uh, daily meeting firstly then we uh, freeze our schedules for the day then we take follow ups with the vendors for the technical closure of the document so that we can proceed further for the commercial neg negotiation as well so yeah this is how my day uh, goes nowadays sundar so, i'm sure a lot of engineers uh, who are studying right now as well they don't get to see exactly the world that you have here uh, and i'm sure for you as well that was the case when you first came in Oh uh, how was that feeling you know when you saw these huge machines maybe i am having the same feeling right now what you are feeling because looking at such big equipments and how things are going inside these equipment what is going on inside equipment there are two type of process uh, first one which we can see with our naked eyes what is going on in that process and secondly this kind of process which we can't see anything what going inside the uh, equipments and large vessels and we just got to know about the final product and uh, the input only 
सो दिस क्रिएट्स लॉस ऑफ क्यूरियोसिटी इन साइड मी एंड आई गॉट गॉट मोर डाइवर्टेड इन इन टू द प्रोसेस साइड ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट एंड आई हैव स्टार्टेड रिसर्च अबाउट द प्रोसेस ऑफ द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग थिंग एंड आल्सो द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ सी एस टू एंड एसिड एंड एवरीथिंग वील गेट टू नो मोर अबाउट द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग विच वी गेट टू नो मोर अबाउट हाउ एग्जैक्टली द प्रोसेस इज डन and i'm sure you are the only person who can take us to these places sure, so sure. if you can uh, let us see that sure sure let's 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 go, let's go. so uh, you know a, a journey like yours which starts immediately after engineering college a place like this cannot be complete without able mentors able guidance how has been that guidance for you how has been the engineering leadership program for you so far in making you the person you are so paul this organization is very much keen focused in developing young leaders as i am part of this engineering leadership program i am also a part of women uh, leadership program that is wise women investing in skills and experience right so currently i'm working on two departments that is instrumentation as well as project management part so my senior leaders also believe that i can also hold on to that responsibility right. that is why i'm working on two sections so this group will also uh, look into your leadership capabilities and also give you chance to work on that as well so then you said that you're also part of the women leadership team and uh, being a woman how important do you think it is to acknowledge the kind of work culture that women bring in to systems like these which has not seen many women in the past and how do you think that's going to change the way things are so i think for this is uh, why uh, are this women leadership program come into the picture we are into the uh, women uh, leadership program that is women investing in skill and experience right. in this program we got to know about our business acumen financial part and also the core uh, engineering part as well apart from this business and all thing we also got to know about the behavioral and how to communicate with the people with our senior leaders and also the uh, subordinates working with us so this is uh, one thing that is our company or our organization working on us so the being a woman yourself have you ever faced resistance from the men around in taking orders uh, have they shown you certain kind of reluctance in following what you you think is the best at that point in time yeah uh, i do face such issues uh, in my uh, early phase of project because people are not much aware about me being a manager so but uh, i think communication is the key once we start communicating with the people they'll start uh, behaving in a certain way and they'll start knowing you better and they'll start uh, familiarize with the things as well again i'm going to stress a little bit on the importance of a program like engineering leadership program tell me a little bit about how do i go about preparing to ace at this particular program how do i make sure that i become part of this so that i can also join and be like the next sundar to be a part of this organization particularly i think you need to uh, buckle up your basics for the most of the things and also you should be very much uh, focused on your internship and training that you are going to take place in your 8th uh, or 7th semester in your college in order to get the industrial exposure what will be your advice to people who want to join and be part of this particular plant don't uh, be in a shell and also keep yourself updated with the business and also what other things are going inside the business not into your core domain also other departments as well superb thank you very much for that advice sundar and i think our visit to this particular plant was also uh, one of those learning experiences for us at least for me for sure and i'm sure for people who are watching this if you have any questions that you have want to ask to sundar uh, sundar is coming to the conversations cafe elp uh you can ask her those questions by registering yourself the link of which you will find in the description below uh do tell us how you like this particular episode do tell us how you want us to make it further better for you guys thank you once again sundar so for much. showing us around it was thank lovely you. chatting with you thank you thank you thank nice you very much. to meet you